There's nothing more relaxing than the peace of mind and enjoyment you get from a soothing, warm spa. Today, we'll show you how to keep your spa crystal clear and clean so you can enjoy it all year long. You love cycling. You love your bike. You have cool gear and friends that are part of your cycling activities. But what would you do if something happened to your bike or you? Today, we'll take a look at bike insurance. Renting a home has become a hassle-free, low-commitment experience that offers all of the perks of buying and more. We'll take a look and see firsthand how renting equals flexibility. This is the show all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. We are Designing Spaces. There is nothing more relaxing than the peace of mind and enjoyment you get from a soothing, warm spa. And Designing Spaces knows that you'd like to spend more time enjoying your spa and less time maintaining it. Paul Gillio, a technical expert for HTH Pool Care, visited homeowner Betsy to show how to keep her spa crystal clear and clean all season long. We love the hot tub in our backyard. Sometimes my husband and I can come out here and relax after the kids have gone to bed, but I'd like to be able to maintain it myself without hiring a pool company. So I'm so glad Designing Space has sent Paul Gilio out here to show me how to do it myself. Betsy has a beautiful spa. I can see why she and her husband like to spend time out here. Luckily, it doesn't have to be a hassle. HTH's three-step spa care system is here to help, and the best part about it, it's really easy. So what do you do to treat the spa? Well, I know it's important to keep it clean, so I add some chemicals about once a week, but I'm not sure if I'm really doing it right. Does it get cloudy sometimes? It does, and it's so uninviting. Well, luckily, HTH Spa Care has everything you need to maintain the spa and keep it from getting cloudy. Let's go down to the local spa supply store and pick up what we need for your spa treatment. Okay, sounds good. All right, let's go. Okay, so here we are. Yep, we're here to pick up some product. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Let's go ahead and grab some of the items we're going to need for your spa care. Mm -hmm. The first thing you're going to need are six-way test strips. These allow you to test the spa water and balance it to make sure it's ready to go each time you want to use the spa. Okay, great. Okay. The second step is to sanitize the water. Uh, we have a couple choices. We either have our chlorinating sanitizer, which is a granular product, as well as our brominating tablets, which go into the floater. For your particular spa, we're going to go ahead and use the brominating tablets along with the floater. And the third step is to shock the spa water. We're going to go ahead and use our non-chlorine oxidizer tablets. This is something you're going to do every week to help eliminate the contaminants that build up in the spa. Okay, so use it every week. Every week. Okay. In addition to the core products we have for your spa care, we also have a nice line of prevent products that allow you to take care of any problems that occur, like foaming water, cloudiness, and things like that, as well as an enhanced product line, which has some moisturizers that allow the water to be nice and soft for you guys to use. Oh, great. Let's go. Okay, let's go. So we have everything we need to take care of your spa, the HTH three-step spa care system. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. The first step is to test the water and balance it with the HTH six-way test strips. We simply grab a test strip, simply dip it in, pull it out, and we compare what's on the strip with what's on the vial. And it looks like everything's in really good balance except your sanitizer's a little bit low, which we can take care of in the next step. So is it a good idea to test the water in the spa before every time we use it? Yes, it's a very good idea to test the water every time you use the spa to make sure it's ready to be used. Okay. We've also made it easier for you to take care of your spa by going to hthpools.com under spa care. We also have a smartphone app, HTH Test to Swim. Wow, that sounds great. So what's step two? Step two is to sanitize the water to kill the bacteria and the algae and also keep the water clear and clean. To do so, we can use our either HTH brominating tablets or HTH sanitizing granular product. Okay. Both are equally effective at sanitizing the water. It's just personal choice. Okay. For your particular spa, we're going to go ahead and use the HTH brominating tablets, which simply are added to this floater. We adjust the amount of bromine going into the tub by spinning the top. And we simply throw it into the spa. Well, so far, so good. That was easier than I thought it would be. Uh, what's step three? Step three is to shock the spa water. We want to do that every week to clear the water of contaminants and oils that build up. Spas are really warm water that can build up with oils and lotions. And by shocking the water every week, we clear the water out of all those contaminants. To do so, we use our HTH non-chlorine oxidizing tablets. We add these once a week to the spa. 
for your particular size of spa, it only takes three tablets once a week. Okay, so is there anything else I need to know? Yeah, absolutely. We normally suggest to drain the spa every 30 to 90 days, depending on usage. We also highly recommend cleaning the filter every 30 days. And finally, it's very important to constantly test the water to make sure it's safe to be in and comfortable as well. Okay, well this sounds easy and fun and thank you so much for teaching me how to do it. You're very welcome. Go to designingspaces.tv to see this portion of the show again. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. Taking smart actions is the path to having a safe and secure home, from properly caring for your spa to ensuring your favorite recreation and living the flexible life of living in a rental home. We want you to be aware of options for better living. We are Designing Spaces. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.